No, it doesn't happen. So you can trust me on this and try this recipe. This is not bland or something like that. It is absolutely delicious. You won't miss the deep fried one. I promise. Just try it. Every time you can't have the oily version, when you can't have the oily version, this is definitely an alternative for that oily version. So it's made out of spinach in a pongonal pan if you don't know that it's an appam pan or if you are in us it's it's called pancake puff pan it's it's tastes so delicious with absolutely little bit of oil you just have to try it to believe it make it for your family for lunch on the go lunch or evening tea time snack or even for breakfast they will love you for this and you won't regret their calories win win for all and do try it and let me know if it worked for you or not so let's not waste time and let's get to the recipe now please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like my video let's see the ingredients we need to make healthy spinach pakoda we need a spinach packet or, or fresh spinach and ginger garlic paste curry leaves, turmeric, dhania powder, salt to taste, few chilies. I am not going to add any chili powder so I am using chilies. If you add chili powder just eliminate the chilies and ajwain seeds, basin, salt and onion. I am going to use quarter of this onion and half bag of spinach. But if you want, if you don't want too much spinach, you can use the measurements like one cup of spinach and one cup of uh, um, basin and half cup of rice flour. That's the measurement. But I'm going to use half bag of spinach and then use one cup of basin. That's what I'm going to do. But if you don't like too much spinach, just cut it down. I used up half of the bag of spinach. See, I chopped it up nicely. So let's add remaining ingredients to this. I'm adding onions and chilies and curry leaves to it. This is half onion. And then I'm going to add one cup of basin. half cup of rice flour a pinch means pinch of baking soda salt to taste if you eat more salt you add more salt but I am just going to add the right amount for us and around 1 teaspoon of dhania powder little bit or turmeric I'm adding around half teaspoon and ajwain which is uh, this one this is really good for digestion so add it crush it and add it let's mix everything together nicely it's all coated Now let's add water to it. We don't need too thin of a paste. We are going to just make like little bit where we can make balls with a spoon. We are just going to do that. Look how much spinach is there and it's really really good for you as it spinach has lots of iron in it which helps with our blood. So make sure and you are not compromising on taste. You need to remember that. 
healthy food that I prepare is not the bland food. I don't compromise on taste. So when I try something new and if it doesn't taste good, I never share it with you. I don't like bland food. So I never share something that is bland or not tasty or make you eat something just because you have to eat. That's why you don't see much of the trending recipes right now on YouTube in my videos. There you have it guys. This is the consistency we are looking for. See. We are going to put it in our Ponganal pan. Uh, it's like you can also call it as pancake puff pan that you get in the market. If you are in India just search it. Just ask them for an appam pan or Ponganal pan. And they will give it to you and it costs like 100 rupees. Little bit more water. So let's make them now. I didn't on the stove yet. First we need to fill this and then on the stove. I'm not adding too much oil also. Little bit. Two, three drops and it should be good. Fill the entire thing with oil. Not entire thing doesn't mean like you fill the bowls with oil. It just means like... Fill up the entire pan with drops of oil. Just giving a clarification. So now we have our batter. We'll just take small teaspoonfuls and add it. Just like this. And add. It. There you go. Spread it little bit. And one more. I will fill up the entire thing and then show you. I filled up the entire pan with the batter. So I am going to on the stove for medium heat. Just put it on medium heat and it will take just 5 minutes to make it. Don't disturb it and it will be done. I will be back after 5 minutes to turn them so that it can cook on the other side. It's been 3 minutes so let's turn them. Look how gorgeous they look. Sometimes you can eat oil but not all the time. So when you don't want to eat the oil, this is a great way to get that pakori taste even though you don't have the oil. Look at that gorgeous color. Health is everything guys. Health health is wealth so take care of your health and you'll be good let me turn all of them and let it cook for a few minutes and i will show you again press it in so that it can cook better if you want you can add little bit little drops of oil at this stage again but I don't like to add oil so I'm just going to cook like this. So this is a great go to lunch like when you don't have time to make something elaborate this is like make this and wrap it in a chapati it will taste really really great or when you are having something someone for tea you need a quick option then this is the great way to go. Look at that color look at that color and it was going to taste absolutely gorgeous and beautiful healthy everything and perfectly done guys it's almost ready to eat and please do try it and share with me if you like my recipes or not are they working for you or not and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more great videos I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. And I am going to enjoy this with a cup of hot coffee. Bye for now.